It's that time of year when Pokemon drops the best product that you can buy when you want a deck build. The Trainer Toolkit is here for 2024. It features a bunch of useful trainer cards to build the best decks in the meta and also a couple of promo cards and some booster packs. But if you want to see everything that's inside of a Trainer's Toolkit, stay tuned because we're going to be opening up one here on the channel today. If you're excited for that, be sure to leave a like down below. Also leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this product overall. Is it worth it? What do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below and if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel for more content with notifications on so you don't miss any upcoming videos but all right let's go over to the desk and crack into this 2024 trainers toolkit and let's see what hits we get today all right you guys we're at the desk and before we open up the trainers toolkit some new tins dropped for fall 2024 as you see the code right there, the D24 uh, Pokeball tins have dropped. This is the new edition. Usually they always have the Pokeball, the Premier Ball, I believe the Ultra Ball, Great Ball, and then a new ball every time. And this is the new Moon Ball right there, the new Pokeball tin. I didn't open or I didn't buy all of them, I guess you could say. Just wanted to get the new one to see what it looked like and what packs are inside. I'm um, having trouble opening this thing up. But let's see what we got. The new Moon Ball. All right, those are the packs. Not looking good. To start off, you do get two little stickers right here. Lechonk and Fuecoco on that one. And you can't forget your smashed up booster packs. Scarlet Violet Base Set. Oh boy. Uh, Obsidian Flames and Paradox Rift. So for Fall 2024, that's what they're working with. Um, it seems like they're trying to get rid of some uh, overstock for sure because they could have easily put in some Twilight Masquerade in here or some Stellar Crown since they are the newest sets out right now. But let's see if we can finally pull the Maridon uh, Special Illustration Rare or Secret Illustration Rare um, on this Pokeball tin. And hopefully we get some better packs inside of the Trainer's Toolkit. So let's see what we have here. Uh, Wigglets. Beach Court, Hypno, Sandaconda, Switch, Ralts, and just an Annihilate Hollow. All right, let's move on to Obsidian Flames and maybe pull a Charizard. Maybe. Let's see. We're going to find out here. Let's see if we can pull a Charizard or anything cool out of Obsidian Flames. Let's see. Whiskash, Umbreon, Lapras. Gloom, Ponyard, and Claydol Hollow. So no luck out of the first two packs, and this is just a warm-up with our little Moonball tin. Final pack, Paradox Rift. Is there anything in here that we can pull that's really dope? I mean, hopefully there's an SIR in here. I don't think we pulled a lot of Paradox Rift stuff. We got an Iron Moth Reverse Hollow, Lipard, and just a Palkia Hollow. Nothing there. All right, no luck on that tin, but let's open up the Trainer's Toolkit. As mentioned in the intro, it's like the best product you can get to build a good deck. It's going to have a bunch of trainers, a bunch of useful cards. Um, not like, you know, all the bulk that you get from opening booster packs and stuff like that. It does have a level three for experienced trainers. Obviously, some trainers may be more experienced than another experienced trainer, but either way, I think this is like the best licensed product, I guess you can say, that's uh, good for deck building. You get a bunch of useful cards. You still get your damage dice, your coin flip die, condition markers like you do in an ETB. You do get some card sleeves. You get less booster packs, but you do get a bunch of useful cards to build your deck. Looks like this year's theme, they went with the Squawkabilly EX. Personally, I feel last year's was a little bit better because they used Arceus and Arceus was huge in decks um, last year and it probably still is. Pretty sure some people still use Arceus, but let's get the wrap off, slide this out. Very cool little teal kind of uh, teal and black theme right here. Teal, black, silver. I think last year with the Arceus was gold, like a golden yellow. Before that, I believe was Luminion, the purple one. And before that, I think it was a red one. All right, let's open it up. All right, first and foremost, let's get the most exciting part out the way, which is the damage counter dice and the coin dice, keeping it with that green theme, teal theme right there. The dice, you can hardly tell, but it's not like your regular 
uh, EX dice that you get in, in uh, little EX decks that you can buy. It's actually themed with the box. It's uh, like a teal kind of gradient with green. And of course the little coin die and then your status markers as usual. And there is your code card for the sleeves and the Squawkabilly EX for the online game. Speaking of the sleeves, there they are. Again, nice cool little teal silver and black theme right there. Pretty dope sleeves right there on that one. All right, and here is like the mini deck that you get. It's not like an actual deck, but let's open it up. See what we find in here. You're gonna have a few, I think you get like two Squawkabillies or something like that, maybe three of them. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see what we have. All right, so huge pile of useful, keyword is useful cards for your deck building right there. I'm gonna put some more light on the Squawkabilly EX. It is a Blackstar promo, so it's a different artwork than you get from the, I forget what set this is in, I forget, but I believe it's a Scarlet and Violet base, maybe. If I remember correctly, but it is a Black Star promo. So you get two of those, and then you get all these useful trainers. So I'm just gonna go through. You get one Professor Sada or Sada, one Professor Turo. I don't think these are in order. Ultra Ball, Buddy Buddy Poppin, super useful. Nest Ball, Iono, Switch Rick Candy, Electric Generator, Earth and Vessel, Boss, Counter Coucher, Atlanta's Aid. Rescue Board, Explorer's Guidance, Arvin, Tatsugiri. And so you do get some Pokemon in here. I thought it was just gonna be like trainers and stuff. Ditto, Techno Radar, Superior Energy Retrieval, Jet Energy, Bug Catching Set, TM Evolution, Enhanced Hammer, Super Rod, Reversal Energy, Future Booster Energy Capsule, a Research, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, another Research, another Iono, so you do get um, doubles of things. You get Enhanced Hammer, another Team Evolution, another Ditto, another Jet, another Tatsu. So it looks like this is going back. So it's, I feel like you're getting like two of everything. There's a second boss. It seems like you're getting two of everything. Yeah, but either way, very nice set of cards. Definitely for deck building. Everything that you need. It'd be a lot better, I must say, if you get um full play sets of cards like a play set meaning four copies of a card but this is really good and again probably the best licensed product you can get because it's not really bulk it's actually cards that you use in the meta today on top of the lot they throw in four booster packs there for you we got twilight masquerade temporal forces and two stellar crown we're going to start off with temporal forces and see if we can pull anything good what if there is a Greninja inside of that Twilight Masquerade pack? That's, that would be insane. And obviously you can't forget about Stellar Crown and all the cool hits you can get out of that. So let's see if we can get anything out of Temporal Forces, Shift Tree, Bianca's Devotion, Drill Burr, Finizen, yo, our first hit, Iron Leaves EX. Very nice on the Iron Leaves. Full arts. All right, we're gonna go into Stellar Crown. We're gonna leave the Twilight Masquerade pack for the end, and hopefully, we can pull that Greninja. All right, let's see what we got. Stellar Crown. I forgot about the energies being different in this set. Let's see if we got anything good. Ella Stellar Crown, Mo Rotom, Finneon, and Ledian Hollow right there. Our next Stellar Crown pack. Two Stellar Crown packs. Honestly, I think they could throw like two more booster packs in here. Like six booster packs would be cool. But I, I see what they're doing. You're not really buying this product for booster packs. You're buying it for the other uh, useful cards to build decks and stuff. So let's see if we can get anything out of Stellar Crown, Slow King, Lantern, and Lacey Full Arts. Another full art for the hits out of this Trainer's Toolkit, Alana's full, or sorry, not Lana, Lacey. I looked to the side and saw the Lana card, Lana Zade. A Lacey Full Art out of Stellar Crown. Very nice. We haven't hit this one yet, so it's very nice to see. Lacey Full Art. All right, and it all comes down to Twilight Masquerade, man. Can we pull Greninja out of this pack? One pack to do it. It only takes one pack to do it. Can we make it happen today? Let's see if we can pull the Greninja again. 
Remember the last time we pulled it? The only time we pulled it was out of that Charizard um, little back to school tin thing. The pencil case. Teal Mask Ogre Pond, Floets, and a Blissey EX. Another little hit right there. Just a regular EX. Not bad. Three hits out of four packs is not bad. Very nice. All right, to finish off the video, we're just going to go over the hits one more time. Obviously, you got your Blackstar promo squawks that come with the box. And then our three hits for today's short little video. We got the Iron Leaves EX, the Lacey Full Out from Seller Crown, and then the Blissey EX. Definitely the Lacey is probably the best one, in my opinion. But yeah, very nice. And don't forget, but the best thing about this box is getting all these playable cards so you don't have to go open packs and pull them. Very cool little product. All right, you guys, that is it for me and the 2024 Trainers Toolkit unboxing. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know which hit of the day was your favorite. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like down below as well and subscribe to the channel for more content and turn notifications on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And lastly, if you're looking to buy any deck boxes, car sleeves, or binders, check out my links down below to Vault X. And if you want to save some money, support the channel, use my code PTLayerVX at checkout. Well, with all that being said, I want to thank you guys again for taking this poem on journey with me. I'll see you back here for the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace.